Time for Mr. Fix-It, powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Well, 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 it's our good buddy, Mr. Fix-It. What are we talking about today? Well, your favorite topic. I know that there's nothing you love more than a good vegetable garden, oh, right? Oh, gosh, you know me so well. You, you love uh, getting your hands in yep. there and holding on to the melons and the squash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? 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 Okay. So anyway, the thing is, is that uh, you're, it's a little too early to plant right now because it's a little cold, but you may be going out to the stores right now and seeing that the seeds are on sale. Now, we've got the nice warm weather, right, that's out there and it gets us all motivated to go out there and, and, and do some planting and the rain that we had recently and even today. But at the store, you'll see these seeds. Each one of these packages is like 99 cents. And if you're gonna you do an outdoor garden, um, you wanna start these seeds inside. Now, for a lot of people, you may wanna consider, this is a raised garden. Actually, I am just building this at my home. Not quite done yet, but you can see when the rain came, that dirt, I've already started to prepare. This is what I want you to do. I want you to get a hold of these peat pots that I've spoken about before and the seeds, and this is how you're gonna start things out in the morning. Now, with a magic marker, these peat pots are actually made out of peat moss. And so when you plant them, you're gonna plant the whole thing in the ground. What I like to do is take a little magic marker and whatever I'm gonna put into that peat pot, I'm gonna write on there. Uh, I can't remember what I did on this one. Oh, it's peppers, right. So you're gonna write on this because you're not gonna remember what you put in there and uh, you've got it ready to go and you're gonna do this multiple times depending on what you're going to plant. Then you take a little bit of soil, about halfway full, this is potting soil. <laughs> then from there, you're gonna put the seed, you okay? Put oh yeah, I'm sorry. Put the seed in there, All right, that's okay. Uh, I'm getting choked up, the... Luke. <laughs> you, so you, good. Love a good, you love a good gardening segment. Yep. Then after you put the seeds in there, you put it right over the top of that. And then you repeat this. Uh, depending on how many you want to do the lettuce and the beans and the carrots all of this we're going to give it a good month inside the house and what i want you to do when you're all set up then take a little bit of water just a little bit you don't have to overdo it the one nice thing about the potting soil is that it holds the moisture and will keep those seeds and start them out to so that they grow a little bit then place them by a window that gets some sunlight and these, Robin, are ready to plant huh. when Mother's Day comes. That's oh. sort of the wives' tale about planting is that we want to make sure that we have uh, pretty much, you know, Mother's Day is when we don't get any frost anymore and we should be okay. You take those actual pots, put them in the ground. You may want to mark it inside your garden. And then before you know it, in about 60 days or so, you're going to start harvesting your own greens. Well, well, well. I won't be doing that, but thank you for your <laughs> You know, the support. one thing that I love about you is we, at least we know you're honest. Okay. But if right? you want to send someone over to do it for me, that would be great, Lou. How Smarts <laughs> is on Saturday afternoons at 3.30 on WGN. He's also on WGN Radio, of course. How Smarts Radio every Saturday morning, 6 to 10. Have a good weekend, Lou. You too. 